comedian, Dave Boyle, and I'm quitting alcohol. So it's the last fucking straw now. Yesterday, or for the last week, I've been trying to get my fucking Instagram account linked with my Facebook account because I want to run some ads so I can sell some tickets to this fucking show in Toronto and Vancouver. And it's been a fucking nightmare. It should be a simple thing, but fucking Meta has started a thing called the Business Suite where you do all your advertising in this business suite. You've got to open a business account. You've got to claim the assets. Your assets are your, like, my comedy page. Boyle Comedy on Facebook. Boyle Comedy on fucking Instagram. And I'm quitting alcohol on Instagram. So it's just been a fucking nightmare. I had to open a new business account, just Boyle Comedy. The other one was I'm quitting alcohol. But the I'm quitting alcohol one wouldn't let me claim as an asset my Boyle Comedy Instagram page. So I opened a new business account, just Boyle Comedy. I claimed my Instagram account, Boyle Comedy. And then what I wanted to do was take the I'm quitting alcohol Instagram page and my Boyle Comedy Facebook page from the other business account into this new Boyle Comedy business account. And I thought that would just be a simple fucking process. And it turns out it's not. So I was trying to do it. It kept on failing. I don't know what was going wrong with it. It just wasn't working. And then I get a message from Facebook saying, advertising on this account is restricted. And I didn't think anything of it because... I wasn't even trying to fucking advertise. I was just trying to swap over the fucking assets. So I go to the page and it says, you can review this decision. And so I'm like, all right, I'll just review it. It will get cleared up after the review. And I had to take a stupid fucking photo of myself. I fucking had to do all these things to get a review. 12 hours later, I just thought this was going to be like, yeah, we made a fucking mistake and it's all fixed now. 12 hours later, I get a fucking message from these cunts and they're like, we've made our decision. Your account is permanently disabled from ads. This is our final decision. There's nothing else you can do. And all the assets that you have, now you won't be able to run ads for them. And even then I was like, oh, there must be a way to fucking sort this out. So I jump on YouTube and I'm like, business suite account permanently disabled. And every single fucking YouTube video, there's nothing you can do about it. You're fucked. There's nothing you can do about it. You're fucked. Click on another one. There's nothing you can do about it. You're fucked. So now I'm sitting here today and all my accounts, Facebook, Instagram, are now disabled from ads. So I can't promote any of my shit. And there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. There's no recourse. There's no, I can't get on the phone to fucking Zuckerberg and go, hey, I think your AI has made a mistake. And it was an AI thing. They're like, we're now using AI to make these decisions. And the AI bot has said, permanently deleted and so i'm like well fucking what the fuck where the fuck are you meant to advertise shit then how am i meant to promote shit i'm a fucking comedian and i've just been fucking disabled from all my blocked out of all my fucking accounts so if i have some fucking event or some fucking gig that i want to push i can't fucking run an ad for it now it's fucking fucked and the way Facebook and Instagram work is even if you have a lot of followers your posts don't reach all your followers they only get your post or your fucking whatever stories to a certain amount of people and then you are incentivized to run ads to get more reach to get more reach to your people So they fuck you on that 
and now they've taken away the only way I can fucking get more reach. So I'm just like, fuck them. I know this happened like a fucking year ago. I said cunt or something in one of my fucking things and they iced me out. And I said then, I'm not trying to grow this thing just to have it fucking taken away from me at any fucking point at the whims of these fucking cunts. And they're going to get taken away from me at some point because I'm not going to stop saying cunt. I'm not going to stop saying fucking faggot, trans, whatever. I'm not going to stop saying fucking anything. Not that I say any of those fucking things that much. Except cunt and fuck. Obviously, I say them a lot. But I've been fucking battling with the idea that these cunts, because they control the platform and they control your reach, can control your speech. So if Instagram say there's no fucking swearing on Instagram, you've got two choices. You can not swear, you can toe the line, but if that's not part of who you are, then you're just fucking selling out. And once you take that step, then they're just molding who you are. All right, now I'm the guy that doesn't fucking swear. Once you take the swearing away, then what are you? The guy that doesn't say anything controversial because it fucking doesn't get pushed by Instagram. It, the post gets taken down. All right, now I'm just the fu- fucking plain beige, clean cut comedian, am I? And so they mold society in this way just by those two little fucking things. So you can be that guy, you can be the toe the line guy, or you can just fucking be yourself and reach absolutely no one and get fucking taken down. I mean, eventually I will get taken down. (laughs) It's just a matter of time. They fucking went after Russell Brand. And that's whatever, I don't even know too much about that. But they went after this other guy, fucking Brian Rose of London Real. He's just doing fucking interviews. And YouTube took 50,000 Brian Rose fucking clips off YouTube for no fucking reason. Maybe because he fucking interviewed David Icke or some shit like that. I don't fucking know. But it's just going to systematically just fucking continue happening they'll just fucking take one person down all right take the next person down they'll just continue quietening everyone it's so fucking frustrating so i'm not too sure what the fuck i'm gonna do now i don't want to use fucking instagram or facebook at all anymore i'm fucking thinking about deleting the accounts but that's where most of the people follow me so i'm gonna have to fucking think of something else i'm going hard on patreon now If you want to contact me, just contact me through Patreon. For the time being, they'll fucking have to do. I'm going to prioritize the Patreon, which I always should have been doing. But, you know, fucking convenience with these stupid fucking apps, Instagram and all that sort of shit. Maybe I'll start doing some more stuff on Twitter. I prefer Twitter, but also that's going to be a centralized fucking nightmare. Eventually, that will turn the same as everything else. Because you can't fucking do anything when there's a single point of failure. And the single point of failure is Elon Musk. If the fucking government start turning the screws on Musk, what do you think he's going to fucking do? Tell me what he's going to do. If they say, hey, we want these cunts censored. And he's like, no, I believe in free speech. And they come back to him. They're like, well, you know all those subsidies we give you for Tesla. And all those contracts you have for SpaceX, you know those? Yeah, well, if you don't fucking censor them, cunt, we're going to take all those contracts away and then we're going to fucking whack an extra tax on you, a fucking must tax, and then we're going to fucking rip away your business and keep you locked up in fucking courts for the next fucking 10 years. How does that sound? And then he's like, all right, maybe I'll censor this one cunt. And then once you've censored one cunt, it's fucking over. So even Twitter with the fake free speech ideals, that's not going to work. That is definitely not going to work. There's a decentralized fucking, oh, what is it? Social media, 
where they can't take you down. It's called Nosta. It's sort of like a Bitcoin derivative type thing, but they can't fucking do anything to take you down because it's a decentralized, it's a nodes thing. It's sort of like the same concept as Bitcoin where there's no single point of failure and that could be the future, but it's definitely not the present. (laughs) I think there's like 500,000 fucking people on it and I think they're all hardcore Bitcoiners. Maybe that's just my fucking pivot. I just pivot into full hardcore Bitcoin fucking content. I tell you what, it's just so fucked. But fucking fuck them and I'll figure it out. I'll fucking start advertising on Pornhub or some shit like that. You'll see my head pop up as you're fucking jerking off. I'll figure it out. Anyway, that'll fucking do it for today. If you're enjoying the podcast, Jesus fucking Christ. Now, please, for the love of God, share it around. Spread the word. Join the Patreon. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to promote the Canadian gigs. You're going to have to push it for me, cunts. Anyway, that'll fucking do it. I'm pissed off today. And I'll see you the fuck later.